Well, it's a sad day here. We're not getting rid of it, but um, we are retiring it. A new one will take its place, uh, but for now we're going to put this one up and just hang on to it. If we ever need it, we'll have it. Um, I don't know, maybe someday we'll decide to sell it, but for right now we're just going to hang on to it and put a new one in its place. So my husband and I are getting ready to take it apart. I've cleaned all of the stuff off of it and the um, stuff that was on the inside. Uh, we still have to, we're trying to make it a little lighter to carry out. So we are going to take this piece off and all of the um, burner covers, whatever comes off, we're going to take off and just lighten the load. And we're not going to be lifting it ourselves. We do have help coming, much younger help. So we're going to get this stuff all taken care of before our help gets here so we can just lug it out. Is there a screw in there? No. It's We'll take that down in our basement and wrap it up and store it down there. One less thing we have to store out in the garage. And you can see we had the stovepipe taken out a couple of months ago. This has kind of been in the works. So we've sealed that because the new stove needs a transition piece. It requires a um, bigger stovepipe. So right now my husband and I are going to take off we did take off the shelf over here on that side. But we're going to take off all the other pieces, anything that will come off, and um, store those in a box uh, downstairs in the basement. Um, we're going to put as little as we can outside in the garage and just cover it. Garage isn't heated, but it is a very dry place. so. We have pretty much everything off of it, I think. We did figure out that this comes off the base. So, because I was a little worried about it having feet and not fitting on these little roller things. Uh, so we'll be able to put this onto the rollers, which is the most heavy of the pieces. Put that on those. Those hold a thousand pounds a piece. And roll those out. I don't know. We're going to roll them out. To the front door and then I guess it's going to be manpower from there. So right now my husband and I are going to go out, get
get the spot um, situated for that in the garage before our help gets here. So guess what? As you could see, the stove is gone and I forgot to turn the camera on. Ugh. Everybody had left. And I looked over, the camera had all, it was all set up, ready to film. And I looked at my husband and I said, I can't believe I forgot to turn that camera on. I kept telling myself, don't forget to turn the camera on, don't forget to turn the camera on. And I forgot to turn the camera on. Stove is gone, it's out in the garage. Um, the new one should be here within a week, hopefully. It's been on back order. It's not like we're ordering it already finished. They make it when you order it, and it's being made in Pennsylvania and shipped up. So we're so excited to get this. Um, but I'm sorry that I forgot to film this. There were so many people here. We had so much help. We were very blessed with a lot of help. And um, they're all gone now, and um, Everything is done, I'm sorry. But, like I said, the new one is coming and I will show um, us bringing that in. Uh, right now we're not even sure how we're going to get it. Uh, it's about 600 pounds, I think, and um, yeah, it's pretty heavy. We do have those little rolly things here on the floor that uh, you probably saw. Those hold a thousand pounds each. So, hopefully we can roll them in on that, uh, roll it in on that and get it put in place. There's going to be a part two. <laughs> part two with the new one coming in. Oh, I'm going to write myself a note or something filming this. We are excited. So I guess that's it for this one. Our new stove is here. I'm so excited. You're good. I think, depends on what you're aiming for. You sure I'm good? Well, I don't know if you're good, but but you're you're good on this. No.
Oh my word. Hold your breath, everyone. Hold oh, your breath. A bit more, into the hole and then slide over and go down into that. But I can't see the hole. You guide it in. I'll just... Okay. I got it. Perfect. Teamwork. What do you think? It's not the other stove, but I'm gonna stop comparing apples and oranges, I guess, because it's just not not the same. So I still have.
think this requires an Allen wrench. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm struggling here. I'm trying to put this together, but I mean, you can see I'm not reading instructions. And that's because the instructions that came with the stove are written for an Amish person to understand, not an English person. Not necessarily written in another language, just written very different to how we would write directions. There was no clear instruction on where to put anything, how it fits. Um, it, it, it came with a bag of screws and didn't tell you where any of them went. It came with all the parts, but didn't tell you how to put them on or where they went, what they went with. It just was very difficult. So I was left to my own vices and I was just flying by the seat of my pants, which I seem to be doing really well at lately. Um, I, I just guessed. I, know what. I basically well, guessed open. with everything because that's really all I could do. We have looked on the internet. We looked on YouTube. We searched everywhere trying to find exactly how to put everything together, like piece by piece, how you do it. I should have showed that because really there isn't anything we could find on the internet there was a lot of people showing the stove showing you the stove you know but nobody really showing you how to put it together not even the pioneer princess websites the people who sell the stoves in the end i did figure all of this stuff out so i guess that is all that matters at the end of the day Okay, so it's in, and we've got the doors on, and the oven handle and thermostat temperature gauge on here. Let's see if we can get even closer. That is on here. This is going to make it easier to open the oven because it's, I don't have to worry about it being hot because it's got the wooden handles. I do like that. Not a big fan of these clunky handles and I find myself comparing this stove to our previous stove which I absolutely love but it, it just wasn't efficient so we needed something efficient so this is what we had to do the top is stainless and it does have like a little film where the it, it was covered with a, a seal thing and like a plastic seal and we pulled that off and it left a little bit of a residue but they um, gave us something to take the residue off with they said that's normal so we do still have to hook up the pipe there's a, a piece that goes on the back here and then it connects the stove pipe that goes up through here there's just a plastic bag over that right now so we don't uh, let any cold air in. There's a little bit of a, a stainless steel skirting around the, the bottom. This sits right directly on the floor and you you can see it's kind of it's over you know a little bit off. You can see where it's off more to one side than the other and that's because that centers the uh, chimney where the pipe is going to go. It's going to be center right there. So I'm going to see if they have like an elbow that they can install so that we can move it over and make it a little bit more centered. Otherwise, I'm always going to look at that and think it's not centered. Um, there is a towel bar on here. It looks kind of, it reminds me of like those industrial restaurant style diner ovens or something. I don't know. We didn't get the one with the water reservoir. We don't need it. Um, you can't drink the water that's in there anyway, so we wouldn't um, we wouldn't use it. It's just for cleaning. Um, down here, you can see two screws, and that, from what I can figure out, is a clean out. So you could unscrew those and use um, a tool that came with this to clean it out. So inside the oven, two racks, 
it's a stainless steel oven. I mean, there's lots of room, so much more room than our previous stove. And I am going to love that because we bake a lot. Hoping we can use this on Thanksgiving Day. Not sure if we're going to have it up and running or not. Um, we've got somebody supposed to be coming in the morning to um, hook this up. This is Tuesday before Thanksgiving. So we're, we're just hoping everything works out so we can use it. Um, two racks, like I said, and they slide out and in easily enough. And this door mm. is so heavy, like really, really heavy. Well insulated. Inside the firebox, I don't know if you can see in there or not, it is um, lined with fire bricks. That's one difference, huge difference, um, between our previous stove and this one. And, and why it'll keep a fire going a lot longer too. And you can see the door is all um, insulated. And that's going to be nice because that's key to my not waking up every hour and a half to fill the stove. It'll stay going eight or nine hours. And then under here, under the firebox door, there is a pullout for ashes my husband. The only thing I didn't really care for about this was, let me show you, get it all the way out. See the back of the door? There is no back. <laughs> There's no back. He says it's just because you can just put it right into your ash pan to throw away. It just slides, all the ashes slide out, but I'd be afraid that they would slide out before I got to the ash pan. So this back in here. There. And these doors are so heavy. They latch really well. Really well. You can see, you have to really pull on it to get it open. And uh, I think I think it'll be nice. I mean, it's definitely going to be more up to date than our last one. Our last one was, uh, if you're new, Queen Atlantic uh, from the 19 from 1900, and uh, was uh, made in the Portland, Maine stove foundry. And we loved it. it. Had so much character. Just looking at it, it was beautiful. And this one is so new. And I will get used to it. I will. In time, you can see there is no back on it right now. We do have the back. I can show you that. There's the back. I'm not a fan of that great big old branding. I told my husband I'm going to scrub it out with ash.
Okay, so this is gonna take a little bit of learning. Now the first time you light one of these up, we are told to build a small fire, not to get it too, too hot. Your first um, 24 hours of using it. So um, we're just doing a small fire. Still trying to figure out all the little dampers and vents and things. I don't know, this is like way, way more technology than our old school stove. And it's Amish made. Yes, it's Amish made, Pioneer Princess, made in the Pennsylvania Amish country. And it was, it's like so new. It's just been made in the last two weeks. It's been a week and a half. About a week and a half since we got our, our cook stove. What do you think of it? I'll ask you first. I like it. It's doing a good job for us. Yeah, it, 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 it it's a learning curve, don't you think? I mean, it was kind of... I haven't had to operate it, honestly. We're You've still done it. learning how to run it, but it seems to do well so far. Yeah, it says that it heats up to 2,000 square feet. So, I mean, it, it does a lot of, you know... Um, it heats a really big area, but we haven't really turned it up. We've really been keeping just this area here um, heated. We don't really heat the upstairs um, unless somebody's here. Uh, so really, it's just this area, and we keep it, I don't know, about what, 70, 72? Yeah, it hasn't been cold out, so we really haven't been able to test it out to see. Yeah, and we haven't cooked in it yet. We did warm some things up on Thanksgiving Day, but we haven't actually used it to cook in. Uh, I'm going to, probably this week, <laughs> but uh, I haven't yet. But overall, with comparison, I know it's apples to oranges, it's really not great. Really, really miss the character, I think, of our old one. I think you would say the same, the character, I think, mostly. but. We don't miss getting up all night <laughs> filling the wood stove up. No, we do not. Uh, this one, I'm getting quickly getting used to. I, I was really hesitant. I didn't think that I was going to like it as well as I do because I'm really not a fan of these kind of changes. Um, I like the old, I like the antique look, I like the charm, the characteristic, and I hated to pull that out of here. And this is so much newer. Um, the idea is old, <laughs> but the look is newer. But I think we're getting used to it. The top is uh, getting darker. It's not as shiny as it was. We haven't used the warming oven. I don't think I haven't used it. Did you no. use it on Thanksgiving? No. Maybe I, we might have used it for the potatoes. We may have used it for the potatoes on Thanksgiving Day. But um, right now it's just storage. You can see we have some pots and um, cast iron in there. Uh, the top we use for storage as well. One thing I did notice is that this is not as deep as our old one. So this that was kept in our old um, oven um, does not fit in there. So I just set it on the top. And we have other cast iron on the top here too. And I did figure out a way. <laughs> I was telling them how much I don't like the words Pioneer Princess on there. I don't know, it's just so white and out there. So this is my way of hiding it. Um, yeah, I just kind of put this here and it covers it. I mean, it's not as bad as I thought it was. Not that we don't like the, the stove itself, but the the name of it painted on there sticks out like a sore thumb. Yeah, it does. It really does. So, so we're going to get going. I'm going to end this video. I know it's a long one. So, until next time.